Hello and good, let's say good midday because I'm not sure whether it's morning or afternoon still but it's around about midday and I'm here, <clears throat> I'm going to try and do a little session on the Medway. I think it's about high tide now and the wind is blowing like anything. I tried doing a session yesterday but it was it was so windy, so, so rainy and miserable that I gave up, um, it was horrid. So I've come down here with a bit of bait. I think this is Gun Wharf area. I don't know the precise name, but it's Chatham. Um, and I'm not expecting a lot, but maybe I'll get a bit of some white in or something. I don't know. Um, something um, to fill my freezer before lockdown hits in. Um, so I've just parked here in this car park um, next to the Command House pub, which is there. And I've paid £2.50 for four hours, which is not bad. Um, pleased with that, so I'm going to get the stuff out of the car, get around there in the wind, and set up. So I'm just going to set up in a minute, um, and then I'll show you the rigs that I'm going to use. Um, I'm only going to do a couple of hours, but I'm going to hide my camera gear just behind this bush to try and eliminate this wind noise. So hopefully, behind here, it'll be a bit better, and I'll get the wind mic on. And let's get set up. session so um, I'm gonna just have to fish on my sonic gravity there loaded with braid 18 pound braid on the reel I'm fishing a two hook clip rig and the links up there to how I make that rig I'm gonna fish that with um, lugworm tip with squid probably not far out 30 yards see if I can get some decent white in or anything else that's about and then I'm gonna on my any fish anywhere there that's got the synetic, synetic cyclone reel that's on mono i think it's 15 or 18 pound i'm not too sure but i'm gonna fish a long range rig um, again there's a link up the top of how i build that and on the hook i'm gonna bait up a few um two or three worms tip with a squid head get that out in the middle somewhere see if there's any cotton around so let's get this painted up now and then we get them cast out. So I'm just pulling down the bait stoppers on top of the worms there, pull it down so it's tight, and I've got a bit of squid dipping out, make sure the hook point is clear. Again with the spot one, pull down the bait stop, sink in, tighten the bait, dipping it out, making sure the hook point is clear. Right, now that is ready to go. So this one's gonna go out that first yard. Again, hook point clearly showing. Worm, three worms baited up. Bait stock pulled down tight against the worms. Squid head, hook point showing. So let's get these out. With this wind, 
very fun. I hate crosswinds with braid and awkward, but I'm not going to put a line to this. Little sideways flick. Let's go just down there. And then let's get this way out. Middle. We've got bites on the uh, little rod already. That's good. Get tight on this. Oh yeah, we've got a bite. Something's uh, going to go on that. Uh, a bit of weed caught on it, but there's definitely something on it. See if I can get that weed off it. Yeah, there's, there's fish on that. We've got on here. Straight away. Got him though. No, I missed him. He's got a massive lump of weed. Right. Now there's fish about, which is good. I haven't even tightened down on the other one yet, so I'll do that in a minute. Give you a chance to find out, find his uh, own place to sit out there in the channel. Push that one down. I'm not going to clip these actually, just pick these out again. Have a little flick. Just down there. And we've got a cod in. It's got a lovely. Uh... There we go. Look at that. Beautiful codlin. So ten minutes. First cast on the big rod. Ten minutes in. Bit of slack line on it. And then we have a nice codlin there. Um, it's undersized. Um, and I wouldn't keep it anyway because it's got. A horrible growth on that uh, like I don't know scar or something it's not very nice at all um, but he's gonna go back um, now um, it, it's been mentioned in a post before about um, putting fish back now there is nothing this is not gonna harm this too much by me just dropping that in down here which is what I'm gonna do there we go there he goes and now he swam off down to the depths. Let's start. I mean, I've had a few knocks on the little rod. Didn't get anything, but I had a, a bit of slack line on the big rod. 
I managed to get a uh, codlin first cast, so that's great. Uh, happy with that. First codlin of this um, this winter. I mean, not that there's many about, not especially around here, but um, happy with that. Um, I did go fishing yesterday, and Aram turned up and did a bit of fishing. And one thing I'd like to point out is that Aram has his own fishing page as well. So here's the link up in the top. Um, click on his page. So this time I'm going to just flick it a little bit further. Just again, just a side flick, but maybe try and get 40 yards, maybe. Just slow that down there. So that's about oh, 30 yards. Let that drop. Get tight on that. See if there's anything down there. Let's fish about. Oh, there's a boy. Got whiting, very nice. That's quite a decent whiting. Twenty-four. That's twenty-seven. Second fish, whiting. Just measured it, bang on twenty-seven. Um, so I'm going to keep him. It's going in my bag, fish pie. Um, get a few more that'd be nice um, it's quite good bit of action down here enjoying this I'm gonna check the big bait because it was it took around a bite um, very quiet as you can see oh there's a bit of weight on that there's a bit of weight on that it's weed there we are not so lucky this time. Weed and shit. There's a bit of water on there, isn't there? Possibly something on this. Possibly not. No. Give me a bite though. So the 
but tyre's definitely on the ebb now. Um, it's really starting to pull around to the right as all this weight of water that's coming on the flood is now wanting to go back out. Um, still getting by it so, but a little bit finicky. Um, I'm getting a bit of debris on the big rod out in the channel. But I'm gonna persist, I've still got a bit of bait. See how it goes, I've only been here about an hour. So um, I'm quite pleased, a whiting and a codling. It's better than a blank. Right, that's me done. It's two o'clock. I paid for the parking at five past 12. So I've probably done an hour, an hour and three quarters here. I've had a codling and I've had a whiting. I've missed a few bites. Wind now is blowing. The tide is really ripping down to the to the right as 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 the the ebb, all the water starts going out, and you can see there's quite a bit of debris, quite a bit of weed coming down. It's getting caught on my line as it hits the water, so I'm running out of bait. I'm gonna call that a little short session done. <laughs>